What's up guys, Mardi Gras Man 23 here. I'm going to bring you a tour of my Mardi Gras room. This is my man cave. Uh, Legos are slowly trying to take over, but I'm going to show you my Mardi Gras room because we're getting ready for Mardi Gras and pretty soon this room is going to be full of beads and stuffed animals and whatnot that I'm going to be throwing in the parade. So figured while it was clean and straightened up, I'd give you a tour of it. So the first thing you'll see is that is my Endymion pillow that's the endymion mascot sitting on top of the mercedes-benz superdome endymion is the biggest parade in new orleans it's probably the biggest in the world uh, we have almost three thousand members in our crew we have one float that rides over th uh, close to 300 members on one float it's uh it's pretty big there's some crews in new orleans that don't even have 300 members and we have that many on one float so let me give you a quick tour around this room. So we'll start at the door and this is actually a garage that's enclosed to a room. Uh, we don't have basements here in Louisiana so a lot of us a lot of us guys turn our garages or our carports into closed rooms and make them our man cave. So the first thing you see is you got my big banner, my big Endymion banner on the door. Got a sign up there that says parade, Endymion parade route, no parking. Go around the room and you'll see I got all these extravaganza posters on the wall. They started giving these out in 1980. I started writing in 2001. And I have all but five of them. Some of them I don't have displayed in this room. I have them in the living room. But my wife only gives me one wall. So all the rest of them are in here. You know, you got to do a little compromising when you do your room. So this is a, technically a spare bedroom. There's the bed. Pillow already showed you. We'll go around the room. There's some Endymion stuff stacked in bags. Got some Legos right there. There's a box of train track. Got another box of train track underneath there. A random box of Mardi Gras. There's my big screen TV. There's a little a little print, little art project my, my grandbaby gave me. She did that in kindergarten. Some more posters. We come around. There's a little dancing Endymion mascot. That's full of uh, Endymion stuff in there. There's some packing supplies. This bookcase is full of all my doubloons. There's all my extra doubloons. Doubloons are something that are thrown at the parades. Because in New Orleans, we the crowd gets to participate in the parades. All of the crews, all the float riders have plenty of throws that they throw. Here's my binders full of doubloons from all the different parades. A lot of these parades are now defunct, but I still collect back year doubloons. I don't go out of my way to get anything, but if I don't have it, I will trade for it. So you see, I got plenty doubloons. So that bookcase is full. So if we look above that, there's an Endymion license plate, a couple Endymion pimp hats. There's my Lego Grand Emporium, my fire brigade, my pet shop. I have a spot right there for the Palace Cinema when I get it. That's one of the next ones on my list. I don't have a Lego City. I as you know, because I have a Mardi Gras room. One day, maybe I'll have a Lego room. Some more posters. There's a crew logo poster. And then I did this room in green and gold because if we ever sell this house, I'll be able to... Uh, Southeastern is a, it's a pretty nice-sized college. Um, their colors are green and gold, so I just did it green and gold. I trimmed everything out in purple. And I got this curio cabinet over here. There's some nice coronation gifts. We have a coronation ball where they introduce the queen and select the king. And you get gifts or crew favors. There's from a lot of back years. Most of those are in the 80s. On this shelf I have, those are some older king's clubs medallions, some ladies pins. There's some uh, crew member badges or ducals, D-U-C-A-L. I don't know how you pronounce that. Some crew earrings, some brooches, there's a 25 year anniversary mirror. These are all my member medallions. Like I said, I've been riding since 2001. Snow globe, there's a, a tile. We come down here and every year we have a signature throw. A lot of years there are mascot. Uh, last year we threw Pontchartrain Beach. There's some crew teddy bears. 
You'll see, so far, everything you've seen has had Endymion on it. I collect everything Endymion. So we'll back out. you see, I got the big beads. I got a bunch of, those are all New Orleans Saints, the balloons. After they won the Super Bowl, a lot of crews threw the balloons. Congratulating the Saints. Some more big beads. There's some umbrellas and some spears. Now we start to get into a few other crew things. That toy box is full of uh, footballs. There's some of my grandbaby's toys. You come up here, what man cave is complete without a beer neon. There's my Mardi Gras Bud Light Sun. There's a 1979 coronation plate. Endymion mascot. Big Endymion penguin. A couple of my wife's Mardi Gras hats. A couple of my autographs. That's a Archie Manning, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning's autograph football. That's a Drew Brees, Archie Manning autograph mini helmet. Uh, there's a, there's some more posters. There's actually three of them there. I don't have any wall space to put them all up. There's some, some different odds and ends from different crews. Then I have another case here. This case is full of all of our looped multicolor medallions. A few specialty beads from different crews. Those two beads there are actually from a couple other crews. One of them's the crew of Thoth, and one of them's the crew of Orpheus. They actually are singing beads. Uh, there's a little button you push on there and they sing a song to you. These are some Endymion light up beads. Here's my shelves. Now this is where I have all of my stuffed animals from the other parades. A lot of them are mascots from the other parades. You see that you, they have the crew names on all of them. A couple of Copeland's boats. There's the Endymion signature medallions from the last few years. There's a different one every year. We come up here. I got a bunch of uh, bobbleheads from a bunch of different crews. There's the Endymion bobbleheads. Then we have some porcelain floats. It's a couple of Allah. And then there are some floats from Endymion. And then we look on this shelf. And there's some more stuffed animals from some different crews. And let me back up a little bit here, guys. And you'll see there's some... Uh, there's some different mugs from Endymion, some more floats. The floats actually go all the way across that shelf. And then here's some extravaganza glasses or coronation glasses. They were crew favors for those certain years. As far as I know, I have all but one year, and I don't even know if they made one for the year that I'm missing. And on this shelf, we have some more crew favors. There's an Endymion 25-year anniversary yearbook. There's Arthur Hardy's Guide to Mardi Gras. If you guys want to learn about Mardi Gras, I suggest that book. Arthur Hardy is well known down here. He's like the Mardi Gras go-to historian guy. Um, here's some more blinking mugs from Endymion. Some more dancing mascots. And then if you look on this shelf, this is some autographs I've caught from different celebrities. There's a Nicolas Cage autograph up there, Sean Payton, Bobby Bear. there's Reggie Bush. Uh, there's a couple more. I can't remember who they are. Then I have some corn. This is our coronation invitations. They go around the top of the room. And down here, that's all Crew of Tux. Crew of Tux King, sit, he rides his throne, which is a toilet. His porcelain throne is on the float. So one of their deals is they are is plungers. And then here is my Lego Bricklink store. I'm up to eight stack ons. And a bunch of these neat little containers to keep the little pieces in. So that's my Mardi Gras room, guys. The only thing I didn't show you was my desk, which is right here. I do some building. I got another haul to show you guys. I know this video is going a little long. Uh, I have a table right there with all my Endymion doubloons in it. This table used to be right here where this stack of Legos are. There's my haunted house, my town square. Those are the next couple I build. Here's some sets I got a part out. And this book is full of all my Endymion doubloons. As you can see there, that's got the Maltese and the bronzes in it and the hard to find ones. And that table used to be right there, but that stack of Legos has moved it out the way. So there's my hall. There's my room, guys. Tell me what you think. I'll show you this hall pretty soon.
Tell me what you think about it, guys. The only thing I'm missing is a big screen TV and a sound system. Make sure you subscribe. Please like the video. Please check out my Bricklink store at Mardi Gras Bricks. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.